Hello, welcome to this week's Web Wednesday. Um, moving towards the end of the topic, next month I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on email marketing. Um, so to close off on this month, I'd like to show you some more slides out of one of my courses, which was basically building a better website. Um, so we're going to be covering images, what images to use, where people look and how to do your navigation. So let's go on. We have a cute baby. Cute babies are nice. But, okay, what's going on here? Last time I introduced you to the concept of a heat map. And a heat map was like a type of eye tracking software um, that various sorts of companies and very clever people in Harvard put on uh, screens and followed the eyes of people when they were looking at certain websites. This particular one, the red is the area where most people focus their eyes and it goes out to yellow where it's some people are focusing and then green where some people are focusing. So I want to compare the two images um, on the screen and uh, one on the left hand side with the one on the right hand side as we look at it. So here we have the baby, cute baby. Cute baby's looking at us. Just as an aside, a good image to have on your website to catch capture people's attention is always babies and pretty women. And that goes for male and female. So babies and pretty women are a good thing to have on your website. So the baby is looking at us and we're looking at the baby. Now there's text on the right hand side, which is obviously the important marketing message from the website, but we're not looking at the text. We're looking at the cute baby. So. Do we want to look at the cute baby? Does the person who builds the website want us to look at the cute baby? No, wants us to look at the text and we're not, are we? No, looking at the cute baby. So what did they do? They replaced the image on the findings of their research and made the baby look at the text. Now, as humans, we follow eye signals quite a lot. And because the baby is looking at the text, we do look at the baby, but then look, we go over and we look at the text because that's where the baby is looking. So, if you want to bring attention to something and you've got a person on your web page, make sure they are looking at your call to action. Make sure they are looking at your text because if they're looking at straight at us, we're just admiring the baby. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to cover. So um, it's looking where the image is looking. So it draws our attention to your main message or your call to action. Moving on, heat map technology again. Uh, and I want to show you three little examples I want you to specifically focus on the red part now again it was a similar type of research and what it was was about the messages we focus on the most now in the west we read left to right therefore when we do a website for an audience in the west then we want to have our most important messages on the left top middle and to a certain degree bottom because if you look at these pages there's an awful lot of text and we our eyes were drawn, the, the test subject's eyes were drawn, to the top part, the middle part, and then a little bit towards the end. And by the time we got to the end of the page, we all snored and we all went blue and nobody looked at it. So your most important things at the top of the page, and um, because people scan read, sort of clearly defined paragraphs and not too long because people lose interest. Next example is the classic letter F. The classic letter F is, again, top, middle, and bottom reading from left to right we can see we've noticed the headlines on this particular page and we've noticed the things that have drawn our attention and we have a little look down below and then again we tailor off look at google search results why does google put adverts at the top of the page and not the middle the side or the bottom they used to put them at the side they don't so much now why is that because that's the top spot so if you're paying pennies they want you in the top spot and the top spot is towards the top of the page because that's where we focus our attention so with that in mind quickly let's jump to navigation remember i said we read from left to right we also have an expectation of where things are going to be so let's look at this website on the left and the website on the left we have a menu which is tucked away and if it wasn't for the red red big red box and the word non-standard navigation location would we see it would it just get lost i think it would so crucial remember we read left to right that your menu needs to be either at the top of the letter f or on the left hand side of the letter f because some people have a side menu that's okay but we need it to be somewhere obvious the next thing we need is order of recency so 
remember we start from the left so your important topics your important pages need to be as close to the left as you can get it and then recency is the last thing in our mind and the other thing is we usually expect the contact page to be on the right and there's a scientific reason for that and it's recency so we'll know and we expect oh the contact page is always up on the on the top right hand side where's the phone number and that's what we want to do and um, the comment here is about navigation labels being generic what we do who we are who we hire where we work okay i don't know what the scientific evidence is for that but yes it's a bit wishy-washy it's been quite popular is it still popular i don't know what i want to bring your attention to here is menu at the top or on the left hand side because that's where we look so thank you very much that's it for this week's web wednesday and next time we will be moving on to um email marketing stuff hope you've enjoyed it leave any questions in the comments Toodle pip.